Hello. Welcome to another day and a new TikTok and some new changes to the program to your benefit. Okay, so I have a couple of other new tank tops that I bought. One which is coming in the mail today. And a couple which are already dirty. I'm gonna wait to wear until <laughs> they're not dirty. Uh, but you'll see those in the coming days. I'm sure. So on to the new aspect of the program. <laughs> This channel will have giveaways, as of right now at least, every time I do a cardio vlog. So every time you see one of these videos, cardio vlogs, there will be a giveaway. Yay! The giveaway will be a $5 Amazon gift card. Now, here are the procedures by which you can win. Number one, you have to be a subscriber to the channel. So click the subscribe button right down here. Two, you have to like the video. So subscribe right down there, or like right down there. Three, you have to leave a comment on this video that says the answer to the piece of trivia that I will ask you every day. So at some point in the video, I will offer a piece of trivia and it will be your goal to find the answer to that, either by watching to the end of this video or by going and searching for it and leaving in the comments section of this video. And along the way, I hope we have some fun, offer some information and some enlightenment. Every day that we do a cardio blog, you can win a $5 Amazon gift card. Now, if no one wins, Within 24 hours of the video being posted, there must be a winning answer, at least one winning answer on the comments section. If there is not, then the $5 jackpot from this episode will advance to the next one. And the next one, will be twice as much. So if today's is not answered, then next time the jackpot will be the $5 from this jackpot. Amazon gift card will advance to the next episode and that will be $10. If nobody answers the trivia question tomorrow, then that $10 will progress to the next day and that will be a $15 Amazon gift card. The goal is to either answer the question and get the Amazon gift card or to, excuse me, or to um, um, I can't think, I lost my brain, I thought, is to win the Amazon gift card at some point, whether it's $5 or 10, 15 or whatever it adds up to but it is an advancing jackpot. So, or giveaway. So if within 24 hours of the video being posted, that date, so look on that date that the video was posted, and if within 24 hours of its posting time, if you have not uh, posted an answer, then the jackpot will move to the next day. And if there's more than one answer, then what will happen is I will use a randomized selection tool to pick a winner. It will not just be first answer wins. 
it will be randomized. <laughs> Next. And if you don't like that, then don't participate. That's just the way it is. I don't expect there's going to be a ton of participation in the beginning. The goal is for people to become involved in the channel, hopefully start doing cardio while they're watching it, and get some information and entertainment along the way. Now, there's an additional way to uh, get an extra name in the drawing. So, if you on Facebook share the video, because you can also follow me on Facebook on my professional site where these videos will be posted. There will be a link in the description below. And this is only a second additional entry if you want to. You're not required. You can go to my professional Facebook. Like I said, description in the bottom, in the uh, link in the description. Click on it, follow me, and then when you see the videos, the cardio blogs, share it. And when you share the link, put your YouTube username at the top of the share. So in other words, mine is Character King. So if I were to share my own video, it would be Character King and then the link to the video in that, in, that, uh, in that share. So there you go. If you don't understand that, I hope you do. Um, I will try to leave a comment below that tells you a little bit more about that. But with that said, here is today's trivia question. <laughs> First question for a $5 Amazon gift card. Who said, I regret that I only have one life to lose for my country? Who said that? Now, let's move on to other things. And at some point I will give you the answer. Or you can go search it on Google or Bing or wherever you do your searches. So the last couple of days have been pretty busy with my other gig. And honestly, I had my alarm set for around 3 a.m. so that I could get up, make the videos, and post them. But when the hour came along, I was just so tired. I could not get up. So, there's a couple days I missed. But that's all right. I was um, on this dating site I've been trying out. Well, I've been, there have been two dating sites I've been trying out. One is uh, called OkCupid. Okay and the other is called Tinder. And okay, Cupid, um, I've been filling out their questions. And they ask some very odd questions, in my opinion, like, are overweight people annoying? Like, what kind of question is that to ask someone? <sighs> you could say it's a determination of um, people's personalities but let me tell you something if you don't like overweight people you're probably not going to click on their profiles and read them or contact them and if it's that big of an annoyance to you you will probably post it in your profile because many people 
post when they like fitness is a great deal. They'll say I'm very active, very fit, have a healthy lifestyle. So I suspect if they find overweight people annoying, they will probably write in their profile that. And there's some of the questions were just so leading and things like about your religious beliefs. Generally there's a select there's a there's a selection bar that says you're Buddhist or whatever else. And to ask people, well, would you are you a Hindu? Are you a Buddhist? It's just really unnecessary to ask that question. And almost um what's the term I'm looking for? Almost um my vocabulary is escaping me right now. It's almost So disappointing. It's in a form of a way prejudicial to me because it doesn't, it, because there's already a section where you share your religion. And if you really want to make it simple, and someone says, I'm a Buddhist. And they're very serious about it. That means they probably are pretty focused on the Buddhist faith and want to follow that approach. And if you want to put something down that says, will you date outside of your faith? That would be simple. But to ask, would you date someone who's Hindu? Would you date someone who's Buddhist? It's just really um, profiling is the word I was looking for. It's like you're profiling people. I've already gotten that I'm less compassionate, that I'm um, not as good natured, not as adventurous, not as polite. Polite things. I am polite, first of all. I don't think you meet a lot of people who say I'm not polite. There are people who I'm not polite with. If they're rude, then I will reciprocate. But as far as being polite, I'm, I would say I'm very polite. Maybe I'm too Donald Trump or something. Maybe I need to be a certain kind of polite, but I'm not. I'm polite unless you treat me in a manner in which I should not be accepting of your rudeness. And then I will be rude back to you. Because that's the way it is. Or I will just avoid talking with you and just be standoffish. I normally won't go back and say, if you're rude to me, I won't necessarily go back and say, well, you're a piece of crap. But I will probably just refuse to acknowledge you as you have demeaned me or attempted to. Or I will joke about it and walk away from you. But so far it has that I'm more political, that I'm more conservative, and that I'm more rational. Well, I guess if rational is one of my good qualities and not being compassionate is I'm less compassionate than the average person, person than some of the things I've done, I shouldn't have done because I'm not supposed to be compassionate. Adventurous? Well, let's see. How many people will go parasailing? I can't tell you the numbers of people I've encountered who said, I will never get on a roller coaster. I will never go parasailing. I would never jump out of a plane. Those are things I have done and I love doing. And I think they're great fun and a great adrenaline rush. Now, if you're talking about food, I won't eat pets. 
Like, I don't need dog or cat. That's just not in my desire. I don't think that makes me uh, lacking in a sense of adventure. I think it just means that I don't want to eat cats or dogs. It's just like the question of, am I open-minded? Would I date a transgender? No, because, uh, or a transsexual? No, just because it's not right for me. It just doesn't feel right for me. It's not about me thinking anything less of them. It's just not right for me. It doesn't make me believe that they are less as people because they're not. I mean, that's just a dating preference or a relationship preference. But like saying I don't want to date someone who's hardcore into porn. It's just a preference. It's just a lifestyle choice. I don't think it means anything negative about the other person. Or does it mean anything negative about me? If you declare that as not being open-minded, then I would ask, what is your definition of open-minded? Willing to consider ideas? I'm willing to do that. Always believe that my answer is the right one? I don't believe that. By the way, the answer is Nathan Hale. He was an American soldier during the revolution, only 21 years old and volunteered to be a spy. Went to New York to collect information, was kidnapped by the British army and executed Nathan Hale. But I think that the criteria for their judgment of what is this and what is that is skewed towards a political perspective all on its own. It said, one of the questions was, do you, would you rather give up the right to bear arms or the right to vote? Well, what are you asking me so we can figure out what we can pull off? <laughs> I mean, I would sacrifice neither of them. But if I had to, I suppose I would sacrifice the right to vote because if I have the right to bear arms, then I have the right to reclaim my right to vote at some point if the government gets more out of control. But it's just, there's almost a political agenda that they have in the way that they ask questions. The other side is a little more um, informal and a little more quick in the approach. Tender, unless I misunderstand the entire process, which is possible because I haven't been on it for very long. Essentially, they show you people that you may match with or just people in your area based on your criteria and you like or pass on them. And if you discover that you both liked each other, then you can send a message and communicate. And then you can sort of go from there. And they have a brief little profile. People have brief little profiles written and you can make a determination as to whether you like the initial vibe. So it's not as involved as OkCupid. And OkCupid has a lot more where you can tell of people's personality. But there's something about Tinder that's sort of just like when you originally meet someone in public. You don't sit down and have necessarily long conversations. You get a brief snippet of their personality. And then you make a decision as to whether or not you want to consider dating them or having coffee or getting to know them in general. So there's pros and cons to both. My biggest objection to OkCupid is the profiling process 
which I believe is leaned to a sociological perspective, meaning, um, or political, maybe more accurate, because it's either, it's leaned more, I believe leaned more left than right. Now, I don't necessarily agree with everything that conservatives stand for. I have no problem with people of the same gender getting married. It's really none of my business. I have no problem with you having a sex change or an abortion. I don't necessarily like it, abortion. But um, I'm not knowledgeable enough in medicine to know at what point there is a consciousness. I've heard people say that they remember things from when they were in the womb. Now, at what stage of pregnancy they were in when they have memories of that, I really don't know. But I do not know at what stage consciousness begins. Because at one, at the stage where consciousness begins, then I assume that you could just as easily be aware of your own death. Um, if you believe in an afterlife or whatever else. That's a whole other conversation. But my point is, is that I'm not educated on that enough to feel like I can make a judgment as to whether you should or should not um, have an abortion. And as much as I think the man in the relationship should have a voice in it, at the end, the woman has to decide what's best for her, what's best for the health of her body, if her, especially if her body's at risk, or if she's been the victim of a violent crime. Um, in gay marriage, I just, I just don't see... <laughs> so many straight people have messed up marriages. I don't see the point in objecting to two people who actually care about each other, each other getting married. Marriage is almost a joke nowadays anyway. Not because it was it's supposed to be, but because people get in and out of it so quickly now because they know there's an out if there was consequence to getting out of a marriage meaning that you lose certain things within society then people would do it far more carefully I'm not suggesting there should be I'm just saying that it's there's no repercussions necessarily to the bulk of in the bulk of society's view so you can say I've been married three times and someone might go, oh my God. Or someone might go, cool, I've been married three times too. Or you just went with the right person. That just happens. But I guess I don't, my point is, is that I don't see how the same gender getting married, even if they do it under the same circumstances as two straight people, how they are any less qualified to do it. So there's things that I disagree with on the conservative agenda. Um, I certainly don't hold um, most religions in a negative regard. I don't really know that I hold the religions in general because Christians have had problems in their past. Muslims. Um, I think probably the only ones that you don't really hear that were have violent histories are Buddhists. <laughs> uh, but um, anyway, and probably Hinduists, I don't know enough about Hindu, Hinduism, or you know, even a number of other religions. So I'm not really someone who chooses to hold prejudice against any particular religion. Um, I don't believe in any religion that wants to control the country and limit the rights of people, meaning based on ethnicity, lifestyle, or whatever else. So in other words, I, for example, like, I know the Sharia law requires women to be covered. I don't believe in that. I don't think that's the right to treat women like that. Um, women are subservient. I don't believe in that. Um, uh, homosexuals are, uh, are executed or severely punished. I disagree with that completely. Uh, so, I mean, there's just a number of different things in my beliefs on uh, 
on life that are not necessarily from a conservative perspective, but I'm definitely not a liberal either, because I do believe you have to work for what you get, and it shouldn't just be given to you. You should put in the effort to succeed, and uh, other people should not be taking care of you. There are people who I think we should take care of, uh, people who are uh, severely disabled and can't work, um, advanced age at this point where they uh, can no longer work, and uh, vets who um, have serious um, uh, issues and challenges as a result of their time that they can no longer effectively work. So I think those are things that we can, as a society, help our people. But just in general, I don't believe in welfare when people, many people can do their, can, can get out and work. I think uh, we have a responsibility to be an active member of our society, active members of our society if we have that ability to. So anyway, I was just finishing my thought. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you got a little bit longer of a workout than I did. I just wanted to finish that thought. Uh, please do answer the trivia question in the uh, comments below. Uh, subscribe to this channel so you can be a participant and see more videos in the future. Hit the feed and uh, please like the video here so that um, you can be included in the um, trivia, the daily giveaway for a $5 Amazon gift card. And I will see you next time. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Be well.